Karen has kid thrown off plane for Roblox. Must see ending. Cause y'all know Roblox is a dangerous game. You can't be playing it on a plane. <laughs> Here I come. Got it. What you doing making all that noise? Hold on. Look at this editing, bro. <laughs> he doesn't even have his fingers on the iPad. Okay, bro. What you doing making all that noise? Well, no, he's a kid. I mean, when, when I was his age, I was doing the same thing. No, you weren't. Except it was Domino's. He's doing it on one of those iPod thingies. Okay, bro. Is it for reading? Okay, no, bro. Kids have like figured out how to play games on these things. You know, it's like a giant phone. This was made in 2022. There's no way there are those acting like that. I think kids should have those, or a phone either. He looks like he has both of those now. Dad, what does standby mean? Oh, son, that's a special ticket on our airline. What it is means happening? We just don't know where your seat is going to be. But I am gonna have a seat, right, Dad? Well, what is? Don't worry, you will. I'm in Dallas right now, but those nice ladies at the gate will take care of you. His rich ass. I because I really want to get home in time for Emma's birthday. Who's Emma? Well, it is a long flight from Los Angeles to Miami, so you rich make sure and play that game of yours. It'll make the time go by lickety split. Lickety okay, Dad. split. Thanks. We saying that now? Okay. Did you see that? It pisses me off. He's yeah, not even he's playing the game. On the phone. No, he's talking to his dad. Okay. His parents aren't here. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's the big deal with that? What's wrong with this woman? They're not gonna let this kid fly by himself, are they? There are rules against these things. Hop off his meat! Why are you? Why are you on little boy dingling? You should be locked up. This is too much meat riding. Meat riding without no license. Oh my God! You could grind meat on it. I don't know, honey. I left my husband rule book at home. Nobody wants to listen to a screaming kid. He has a scream. Yes, once. dear. You're right. Okay, of he course. has screamed, but like it wasn't crazy. Cody's traveling alone to Miami, but his video games are annoying Karen. What will she do about it? <laughs> he I not put screaming this in for place real. And then yes. And dabbed in 2023, bro. Well, honey, our tickets are in economy. We're flying all the way to Miami in crowded class. Oh my well, god! Honey, you know how expensive first class is. On exactly. Like Apparently, you don't care about me at all. Good thing you have a lot of miles from that job. Okay, can we talk about the inside of your mouth? Were you sucking on a lollipop or something? Why is the inside of your mouth so purple? What you be sucking on? You be drinking lean? Those miles are supposed to only be used for the company. I don't care about that. Give me your mileage card so I can take care of this. <laughs> this woman pissing me off. Excuse me. Hi, how may I help you? I'm Karen Reynolds, and my husband and I need to upgrade to first class. Oh, first class. Can you um, just upgrade like that? Um, let me look up the price for that. Is it really that easy? Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to use points. Ooh, these are already reserved. Yeah, I'm okay. not sure you can use points for that. Oh, no, you can for us. What? Because my husband has gold status. Gold? Oh, gold? That might be different. What was the last name again? It's Reynolds. The only gold mileage member I see on this flight is Kenneth Reynolds. Oh, yes, that's my husband. Yeah. Well, he's gonna have to request the upgrade himself. Yeah. Okay, great. Why does this airline have such red tape? What does that mean? You want them to have green tape? Does it matter the color tape? She won't let me use points. Why is she pouting like this? This is a grown woman. And look at how she pouts. She's grown. Well, why not, honey? I've been building those up for years. Oh, my lord. She says you have to do it. How come I'm not on the account? That's because my employer sets all of that up. After all, they pay for the travel. Well, go up there and get us upgraded. I'm not flying economy, especially with noisy kids like that around. Yes, dear. I don't hear him making the sound, by the way. Like, I haven't heard him make any sound in a minute. Hi, we're the Bergstroms. The Bergstroms. James and Abigail. <laughs> How may I help you? They told us we had to come to the gate for our seat assignments. 
Yeah, there was some mix-up downstairs. Why are you going on a flight in a tux? Is that not uncomfortable? I see people going to flights dressed all nice, and I just never understood it. Like, like we're on the flight 7 a.m. Why are you dressed nice? Do you have to go somewhere as soon as you land? Is that not uncomfortable? Yes, we had some reservation system error, but we'll get it straightened out. Yes, but we're still in first class, right? That's what we paid for. Well, I'm glad you got here when you did. We almost gave you seats away. Oh my gosh, that would have been a disaster. Yes, we're getting married in Miami. Congratulations. Welcome to Totally Air. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's a relief. Oh, wait, where are our seats? Uh, one A and B. You can't just give away seats like that anyways. How are y'all about to give their seats away? Hi, I'm supposed to ask about my airline ticket. Oh, what's the name? Cody Sterling. This Sterling. Oh, yes, I see. You're on an employee standby ticket. Employee standby? What does that mean? <laughs> what that does that mean? You get a ticket after this... all the other passengers check in. Damn. But you get priority. You can tell all that? From the, From iPad. the iPad? This man's acting is so terrible though. Like, like this hurts to listen to. I don't, I don't even think there's a Disney show I can compare this terrible acting to. iPad Pro actually, it's the latest thing here at Totally Airlines. Totally cool. Airlines. I got an iPad too, but I use it to play Roblox. Excuse me, you're not gonna let him on this flight, are you? Well, that's up to the airline. How can I help you, ma'am? I'm here to see if our upgrades came through. Reynolds, right? Okay. I see the name on the list here. Okay. Good, because we better get on instead of him. I want y'all to look at her face. This is a grown woman. Grown. No, ma'am. There are no more first class tickets available. Someone already claimed those seats. What? Are you aware that my husband has a medical condition? We don't care. Oh. He can walk. Does he need a wheelchair or something? He can walk. We don't no. care. He's hard of hearing. That's why we need first class. That's why we need first class. That's why we need first class. What's going on here? He's hard of hearing, so you need first class. What? Ma'am, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Great. You're going to make us sit in economy with a noisy kid like this? <laughs> Can you believe that woman? Hey, yeah, She's thanks. She's really making a commotion. Better duck or you're going to get crushed. So you two are flying first? Yeah, it's our wedding. And you're okay with that? Given my husband's medical condition? Well, it is our this wedding. This is so bad! Hey, what's wrong with him? He has a hearing condition. He needs special hearing aids. What does have to do with he cheating? He sit next to a boy playing games? Doesn't that make the most sense for someone who can't hear to sit beside a boy who's playing games? Because he can't hear him? She is a bitch. Oh, whoa. We can relinquish our seats. No, we're not giving up our seats just because your husband wears hearing aids. Exactly. Fine. Well, I guess my husband will just have to go deaf because you guys are going to your wedding. Fine, just ignore her. Let's talk about our trip. Fine. I can't believe you people. I need to sleep. This, this woman said, she said, fine. <laughs> fine. I can't believe this. Fine. <laughs> just like my little cousins, bro. Let's people alone. I already said fine. Fine. <laughs> Let's go. I don't want to be difficult. No, okay, sweetheart. <clears throat> it's too late, you know honey. What, James, I think we should give up our first class seats. You're too nice. Yeah. It looks like he's in real danger. I'll take care of it. Wait, what? Wait, y'all serious? Karen insists on first class tickets. I thought we were. I thought it was sarcasm. More than kids are video games. <laughs> Totally Airlines Flight 556 to Miami is now boarding. All right, bet. On our way to Miami. Cody Sterling. Yep, here you are. Thank you. Reynolds. Look at him carrying all those baggages. Yeah, kind of and she got her tiny purse that's straight from Goodwill. And it's okay if you shop from Goodwill. But it's not okay for her. I hate her. <laughs> I'm Karen. I have a different ticket for you. Different ticket? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Kenneth has an upgrade. Cool. What kind of upgrade do I have? Cool. You don't have an upgrade. There are no more first class seats. <laughs> what? I made those other Damn. two people get rid of theirs. Made? We gave the other first class seats to the boy. Yeah! You can't do that. 
My husband has a medical condition. Look at this face. It's it's so it's so it's so it's so. Uh, uh, you know, I just I just want to. Uh, uh, I'm tired. You feel me? Stop it. He said, "I'm taking it." <laughs> I respect the hustle. What up, dude? Man, how are you? Great. I'm going to Miami for my grandma Emma's 90th birthday. 90? Wow, Hold that's that. a big deal. Well, I'm happy to see you're traveling in style. Yeah, my dad got me this ticket. It's pretty cool. So, what you playing on that gizmo anyway? Roblox. All the kids play it. What's this kid doing in my seat? It's not your know. seat. Honey, he was here before me. Oh, there's Big Fred right there. Oh, it's you two. Oh, great. <laughs> we traded first class for this? Sam, the pilot would like to offer you a tour of the cockpit. Heck yeah. Why Why is he getting a tour of the cockpit? Oh. For what reason? Looks like a seat opened up in first. Nice chatting with you guys. Likewise. Oh, Abigail, you have such a great sense of humor. Finally, they kicked the kid out of his seat. Uh, I think he's coming back. Hello. How, how come he Are gets to Captain see the Armstrong? cockpit? Oh, you must be Cody. Why does he get? Yeah, they said you'd show me how the plane works. Yeah, take the other seat. I'll make you honorary co-pilot. Oh, did there? For Man, what? you're not to mix with these passengers. You got to go back to your original seat. Oh, great. Now I have to go back to economy. You gotta go back to economy. Her acting cool. makes me to like both of their two actings hurt me like like everyone in here has bad acting But these two specifically cool awesome. I feel like I'm watching Max and Ruby yeah, And I like Max and Ruby, but not IRL edition. Do I get to fly it too? No, son, maybe someday, but for now I'm going to give you these honorary wings Cool Does that mean <gasps> No, he needs to stop saying cool, bro. It's making me angry. He's is me Cool, cool. Just a damn monkey. I feel like there was another cartoon character or, uh, or anime character that said cool like this and it just pissed me off. I can't, I can't recall. You mean I get to boss everybody around on the plane? Sorry, kid. Only I get to do that. Cool. It's, it's Duck from The Walking Dead. That's who he reminds me of. He pisses me off just like Duck from Walking Dead Telltale. That's who it is. Gretchen. Yes, Jasmine, what is it? There's a woman in 23C. She keeps complaining about her seat. They kicked her off the plane. Is that Mrs. Reynolds? Reynolds. Yes, that's her. She says her husband has a medical emergency. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Emergency? Oh yeah, and with all my husband's miles, they'd rather give first class away to a kid. You should see the cockpit. They have more the ass in here than a GameStop. <laughs> ah, What's a GameStop? Ah. <gasps> He's just like duck, it hurts. He's just like duck. Excuse me. How long, where the hell were you at? Why do you walk everywhere sideways? Like this is like 2D or something. She like sidesteps everywhere. It's like we're a Mario or something. Or it's like a visual novel. Yes, what is it? My husband is having a medical crisis. Medical crisis? Oh my goodness, should we get a doctor? No, you just have to remove the excessive noise around him. Ma'am, planes are noisy. There's nothing we can do about it. No, there's just why some- do the, like, like, I don't understand why they're standing like this and they're talking like this. Like, can you turn your body a little bit towards them? They stand like, my husband has a medical condition. He has an emergency. I'm sorry, but planes are noisy. I, we can't do nothing about it. But my husband, like, and then you just have that kid in the background talking about some Cool. <laughs> Boy sitting next to him playing some game called Roadblocks or something. Okay, oh, buddy. roadblocks. All the kids love that. <laughs> no, not my husband. He's, he's not practically a kid. a kid himself. And he's gonna go deaf if that kid doesn't stop playing that game. I'm gonna go deaf if I have to keep hearing I'll her talk. To stop. He's in the first row, first class. And by the way, he shouldn't be there. Oh yeah, stop on him! Stop on him! Yes, yeah, sir. Son, you gotta have to turn off that game. It's bothering the other passengers. I can't turn it off. I'm uh, afraid to fly. <laughs> afraid to fly? 
Fine. Then you're gonna have to wear these headphones. Oh, that's fair. Headphones? Cool. I forgot mine. Cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Is there somebody here that can help me? This reminds me of a puppet show. The way they just pop up and they're like facing their body. It just reminds me of like, it's like it's a Muppet came in and they're like, Yay! Yeah. I think my brain just committed suicide. Mrs. Reynolds, what is it this time? That boy with the Roblox games and the headphones. I think my husband's hearing aids are gonna electrocute him. So are you saying the boy has to move? That's what I've been saying the whole time. You don't what listen to me. What the hell does me. that mean? I'm very reasonable. Fine, I'll take care of it. Well, move her, throw her out the plane. She can land. He's literally bothering nobody. He has his headphones on. He's playing his Roblox. Literally no one cares besides this one. Her husband doesn't even care. She's the only one who cares. I'm sorry, son. You gotta take those off. What? How am I supposed to play my game? You're gonna have to play them back in economy section because I'm switching you. But, but my dad said. I don't care what your dad said. I'm switching you with another passenger. But, but y'all said I sat right here. So why am I moving? This is racial discrimination. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, hi. Hi, what are you doing here? That mean lady made me sit here. Oh, the one with the orange hair? Yeah, we've been dealing with her. No, yeah. like that mean airline lady. She kicked me out. Finally, I get the seat I deserve. Oh my lord. I can't believe they tried to stick me next to that boring couple. Oh they my god. They have nothing god. better to do than to get married. <laughs> Why did they kick the boy out? <laughs> they have nothing better to do but, you know, marriage. Like, it's just marriage. <laughs> because his game was injuring your hearing aids. You could go deaf. I don't have hearing aids. It was a lie this whole time. You know what? That makes so much more sense. Why didn't no one ever confirm his hearing aids? Oh my God, bro. We don't want them to find out. Yes, dear. I feel bad for him, bro. Gretchen, he has to deal with that skank. Can you inform the passengers that we're making an unscheduled landing? Unscheduled landing? What is this all about? Something from headquarters about a problem passenger. Okay. We will make the announcement. They make Where a, are we going? Wait, they can make a landing like that just because like a, a passenger is being annoying? Dallas. That's, I didn't that's know what that. the top brass wants. That's Whatever cool. headquarters wants, headquarters gets. You'll make the announcement. Passengers, I regret to inform you we're going to have to make an unscheduled landing. We're going to have to deplane a passenger because of an unaccompanied child. Yes. They're finally getting rid of that kid because of that stupid game. He Does that that doesn't make sense. Why if he's going somewhere where his parents are, why would you drop him off somewhere his parents are not? I, or are they saying I, I don't what? Hey, that huh? Cody, there you are. Dad, what are you doing here? What happened? How did uh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Sterling, to what do we owe this honor? I'm confused. It appears we've had an incident with a passenger on this plane. <laughs> yes, I'm... This is like lazy town type active, bro. All the cartoon shows that have bad, all the like the, uh, my childhood shows that have bad acting is coming to me, bro. This is just like lazy town. No, we had a child in first class. Where else would you expect the sun? of the president of this airline to sit. Exactly. Oh my goodness, I didn't know. Is there something you want me to do? That's all right. I'll take care of it personally. This is, oh, this is hurts, this hurts. Pardon me, ma'am. You're in someone else's seat. Oh, they kicked that kid off the plane. This is my seat now. No, if anyone's being kicked off this plane, it's, it's you. you. What? You can't kick me off the plane. Oh, bitch, yes, we can. Yes, I can. I'm president of Totally Airlines. Yeah. What? Big press. What am Big I supposed rep. to do now? I don't know. They call me Mr. T.A. from the streets. Different Wait, home. no, it's T.A. T.A. Big T.A. Come on, son. You and I are going to sit in first class for the rest of this flight. Yeah. Okay. Karen yeah. got kicked off the flight for being difficult. 
I wonder what will happen the next time she flies. What the hell is this woman talking to? I, mean, I don't see no one over there. <laughs> Casper, is there a ghost? <laughs> who? who? <laughs> this, she, this woman talking to her thoughts, schizophrenia. Oh, there he is. Did his hair color change? She can't possibly be first class. Look at the way she's <laughs> dressed. What? Shh. She could hear you. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. Coming through. Coming through. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, there you are. Big Bubba. I wondered when you'd get here. It's tough holding a spot for you. You can't just- Because you're so big. It's just like, I can't cover so much space. Look at this man's face. <laughs> it's cut. What? <laughs> here. I'm not cutting. She's holding my place. <laughs> Is that so? I don't believe you. Let me see your tickets. <laughs> we don't have to show you nothing. We're not showing you our tickets. Honey, let's just worry about our own tickets. Do you think it's fair that they can just get away with anything? What are you talking okay. about? So here's your ticket. Now we're getting picked up at the gate by the driver, and then we're going straight to the venue. Listen to them. They have a car taking them to the venue. It's okay. Not like taking them to court. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> we're, we're not on the plane no more. Why does she have so much hate in her heart? Be alone, bro. You know no, what? I, it, it's not worth it. <laughs> Are you seeing this? It looks like people are taking pictures of this guy. Who is he? Yeah, they can clearly see how out of place he is, too. This is so wow. nasty, bro. We almost made it through incognito. Uh, no, don't worry about it. You did fine. It was the unwanted attention. Yeah, Ty, you feel oh. me? Now you're blaming me for this? Girl, there's only one of us making a scene. Do you guys have any other first class tickets I can buy? What does he think he's doing? I, I don't know. I don't see any. He gonna mess around. Them. He gonna mess around and buy a plane. Ah, yes, we have two more seats available. Hmm. Great. I'll take them. Great. <laughs> he's bluffing. There you go. He can't afford those. What? Those are twenty five hundred dollars a piece. Twenty. $500. Look at these subtitles. No one told me these subtitles were this wrong. $2,500. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to sell more concert tickets. <laughs> tickets, please. Uh, Wait, look at their faces. <laughs> look at that. Oh my God. Tickets, please. Uh, we got. We were hoping to. We got Rod Tsunami. Class. That's not Raw Wave. Oh, That's Wide Tsunami. But the gentleman ahead of you actually purchased the last two first class tickets. Sadly. You're gonna have to travel economy. <sighs> I can't believe this. I can. <laughs> Enjoy your. That's flight. called karma. Tickets, two, for economy. I'm sorry. These tickets are no longer valid. What? <laughs> Karma hitting y'all hard. Flying today. Why is she looking at us like that? Karma hit this woman hard. She got that hard hit. That's called, she deserve it.